episode, and today we are going to read Dragon's Halloween, and it's by Dave Pilkey, and I really like this book because it's October, Halloween, yay! <clears throat> Dragon's Halloween, Six Small Pumpkins. It was October, and all the world was orange and brown. Dragon walked through the autumn leaves in search for a giant pumpkin. I will find a, giant, a pumpkin as big as a house, said Dragon. Oh, what a scary jack-o'-lantern it will make. But when Dragon got to the pumpkin patch, all of the big pumpkins were already gone. Only six small pumpkins were left, and they were much too small to be scary. Dragon loaded the six small pumpkins into his cart and brought them home anyway. Later, as Dragon sat carving his small pumpkins, a fox, a crocodile came by. What are you doing? asked the fox. I'm making a scary jack-o'-lantern, said the dragon. Those pumpkins are too small to be scary, said the fox. Just wait, said the dragon. The dragon took one of the pumpkins and poked branches on, onto its sides. That pumpkin looks stupid, said the crocodile. No one will be afraid of your silly jack o' lantern. Just wait, said dragon. Dragon put candles into the pumpkins and they all lit up bright and orange. Ha 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 ha, laughed the fox and the crocodile. We've never seen such funny jack-o'-lanterns in our lives. Just wait, said Dragon. Finally, Dragon stacked the pumpkins on top of another, one another, until they were very, very tall. The fox and the crocodile stopped laughing. Their eyes became wide. They began to tremble and shake. Ah! cried the crocodile. Ah! cried the whale, the fox. The fox and the crocodile ran off through the woods, screaming in terror. What's the matter with them? said the dragon. The dragon scratched his big head and looked up at the jack lanterns. Ah! Ee! Ah! screamed the dragon. Dragon ran into his house and hid under his bed. I did not know that six small pumpkins could be so scary, said Dragon. The costume party. It was Halloween night and Dragon was very excited. He had been invited to a Halloween costume party. Dragon tried to think of a scary costume to wear. Dragon could not decide whether to be a witch, a vampire, or mummy. He thought and thought. He scratched his big head. One costume could be very scary, said Dragon, but the three costumes will be very, very, very scary. So Dragon decided to wear all three costumes at the same time. First, Dragon put on a witch hat and nose. I feel scary already, said Dragon. Next, Dragon put on a vampire cape and teeth. Dragon could not talk very well, with his vampire teeth in his mouth. <laughs> said the dragon. Finally, Dragon wrapped himself up just like a mummy. Dragon hoped this costume wouldn't be too scary. Dragon walked through the woods into the big costume party. Suddenly, the wind began to blow. Flush went the lightning, boom went the thunder, and down came the rain. When Dragon finally got to the party, he was soaking wet, and his costume was ruined. All the animals began to laugh. Look at Dragon, they cried. Oh, what a silly costume. The animals laughed and laughed, and Dragon felt terrible. He walked over to the bench in the corner and sat down on to a big pumpkin. Suddenly, the bench broke, and then pump, the pumpkin flipped high into the air. Splat! Dragon was very dizzy, 
He stumbled around their room, covered with slimy orange pumpkin goop. When the animals saw Dragon, they screamed in terror. Eek! That's a monster! cried the duck, who jumped into the pig's arm. Oh dear! Oh dear! cried the pig, who jumped into the hippo's arm. Help! Help! cried the hippo, who jumped into the hamster's arm. Finally, Dragon pulled the pumpkin off his head. I'm not a monster, said Dragon. I'm only a dragon. The animals were very relieved, and soon everyone felt much better. Well, almost everyone. The deep, dark woods. The moon was full, the sky was dark, and the stomach was empty. Dragon was very hungry. He walked home through the spooky forest thinking of good things to eat. Softly, the wind began to blow. That was a very scary sound. The wet leaves beneath Dragon's feet went That was the scarier sound. The dragon got farther into the forest. He heard the scariest sound of all. For a moment, everything was silent, and suddenly, grrr, grrr, grrr. What could that awful noise be, cried Dragon. Grrr, grrr, grrr. The growling got louder and louder. Grrr, grrr, grrr. Finally, Dragon jumped into the air. Help me, he screamed. It's a monster. He jumped high into the treetops in a flick, flick on. What's going on down there, shouted a sleepy-eyed squirrel. I heard a monster growling, cried Dragon. That's not a monster, yelled the squirrel. That's your stomach. Now go home and get something to eat before you wake up all the whole force, cried the angry squirrel. Dragon held his stomach. It grumbled and growled. It felt, he felt very silly. All at once, the forest was dark again, but now Dragon was too hungry to be afraid. He ran and ran all the way home. Dragon got home. He cooked a giant Halloween feast. He made pumpkin pies, pumpkin soup, pumpkin bread, pumpkin pizzas, and a pumpkin ice cream sundaes. The dragon ate and ate and ate until he was round as a pumpkin. Bye guys, this is all for today. I hope you liked the story.